What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've survived two new comic book days in 2021 so far and I'm excited to talk about some of the books that are coming out for week number three. But before I ramble too long, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, follow, or connect whatever platform you're on. So this year so far has been, um, you know, the future state so far has taken over and I for one am really excited. I have an awesome video on my channel that I did in collaboration with Mark of Legion of Comics and Steve over at Burke Family 54 Comics that kind of reviews the first week of Future State and what made us so excited about it and what our opinions are moving through the event. So this will be going on through the end of February. There's still plenty of time to get on. I suggest you check that out and find out why you should be reading the Future State titles. So I want to start with those that are coming out for the third week here at the top of the uh, video. So the first one I want to talk a little bit about is Catwoman number one. Um, Future State in general, I've gotten pretty excited about the more I've read. So I'm kind of just grabbing everything. I haven't read any Catwoman, but I know that Rom V has been writing it. I was really impressed with what he did on Swamp Thing. And, um, you know, he's had a lot of other books that people really enjoyed. So as I try to like kind of get on board with this creator, I think Catwoman's going to be an interesting experience. I know he was writing it before they went to Future State. So this is a character he knows pretty well and um, people have really enjoyed his writing for Catwoman. So I'll be checking that one out. Immortal Wonder Woman number one is out. And this is, I believe this one is actually Diana Prince. Um, we have the new Wonder Woman, Yara Floor. And I've really come to like her. I like what I saw of her in her own book, as well as when she was in uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, and uh, she also appears in Justice League. So she's kind of a big character going through this future state thing. I think she's going to stick around. I think there's a bright future for her. Um, but at the end of the day, Immortal Wonder Woman number one is going to give us some of that classic Diana Prince goodness, and I'm excited to see what they do with that. Nightwing number one, I don't have uh, any specific expectations going into this. I believe it is connected to all of the rest of the Bat Family stuff that's happening in Future State. So, of course, I'll be connecting those dots. And I've always liked Nightwing. He's a really cool character. Um, I was never huge on Tim Drake. However, uh, Robin Eternal features Tim Drake, and that book was awesome. So... I'm kind of excited to see what kind of things they can do with Nightwing in this new future world. And then I had heard great things about Shazam in the future state. Um, I heard it from a retailer that got to kind of preview all of the books. And he said Shazam was something that he actually would like to see continue beyond just future state. That the territory they're exploring with that character in the future state version is... Really interesting and really deep, and um, so I'm excited to check it out and see what exactly he's talking about. Um, but I've never been real big on Shazam. I thought the movie was fine. You know, it was fun, but um, this does have me intrigued to see what they do with him here. Superman, War of the Worlds, number one. I'm kind of excited for this. I think this is the original Superman, Clark Kent. Um, but he's going to be in a position of just straight combat, it sounds like. And that really interests me because, um, you know, I think Superman as a character is interesting when they can really get into his psyche and break him down. But the other interesting aspect of Superman is that he's basically invulnerable. So if you want a big blockbuster action-y style, style Superman, I think this is where that's going to come from. And we're going to see him in a planet hulk sort of situation where he's just going to be at war with everything that comes into his uh peripheral and hopefully we get to see him destroy a lot of stuff in a lot of really cool ways and then next batman number two will be out this week i'm pretty excited for this one um i thought next batman was pretty cool i'm excited to see where that story goes but they also had the outsiders in there and that one really just that was such a fun ride. I really enjoyed Outsiders. And so I hope that there's a Outsiders backstory in this one, backup story in this one as well. And um, as long as they keep Next Batman and the Outsiders together, I think it'll be worth it. I really had a blast with those first two stories. 
outside of that, there's a couple of books on my radar. Um, the first one coming up is I Breathe the Body. I believe this is Aftershock Comics. It's written by Zach Thompson, um, who is doing like some really awesome things. He kind of reminds me of like a, a new, I don't know. I don't want to put him in like just the horror genre because it's a lot of like psychological stuff that he's dealing with. And um, I read his newsletter. It's called uh, The Voices Inside Your Head or Mine or The Voices in Your Head or Mine. Something to that effect. It's a great newsletter. You can find it on Substack if he doesn't have a link in his bio somewhere on Twitter or something. Um, but he did release a couple of preview pages for I Breathe the Body through his newsletter. And I read all of those pages and loved it. The concept is essentially like we've replaced technological networking with basically fungal networking. So there's like this organic life component to how everything in our society is connected and intertwined. And um, there's this giant social media platform, um, I guess kind of in the vein of Facebook, but it's built around fungus and mushrooms. And I don't know exactly where the body breathing part comes in, but I'm really interested to see because this is like kind of some social commentary with some social media commentary mixed with, uh, you know, the hive mind that is fungus and mushrooms. So I'm really excited to find out more about this story and where it's all going to go. Batman Catwoman number two. This is Tom King through DC. People really like this stuff. I didn't follow any of his Batman runs, so I don't have those previous connections. But I did read the first Batman Catwoman, um, mostly for conversation. I enjoyed what they did with it. I thought it was interesting. Pretty confusing because it's bouncing around timelines a lot. But from what I understand, Tom King is known for that. And he usually brings it all together at some point that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and stay on that ride and see how it all plays out. The Expanse number two I'm going to grab, um, I still haven't read the first one, but I did start watching the show because I hear these comics take place like in between seasons four and five or something like that. So I started watching The Expanse and I'm pretty wrapped up in it. I really like it. So I want to go ahead and grab the comics while they're coming out. So when I get done with season four, I can sit down and read the whole run of comics and I'll have that gap filled before I even get to the fifth season. Um, the Orville does something similar with their comics as well. I always enjoy the way they work that out. So that's kind of the things I'm looking forward to coming up. King and Black number three. I still need to sit down and read my copy of King and Black number two. I haven't read any of the tie-ins. I've only read the first one so far, but I'm still hearing a lot of positive things. People really seem to like it. And this is an event I started. So why stop, you know? So I'll definitely be gr grabbing King and Black number three. I'll probably go ahead and read two and three back to back. And um, I'm excited to talk about that more than likely on the Thursday night chat with Burke Family 54 Comics. Power Rangers number three is going to be another book that we'll definitely be talking about there. Um, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the Power Ranger line so far. The first two books were awesome. I hear the third one, uh, you know, has a little bit of a, uh, I guess like a lamp in its step, but I also hear it's still really good. So I'm excited to get into more of Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin has been great so far, and I'm really enjoying what they're doing with the relaunch. So if you haven't already jumped on, I would definitely suggest you try to get in with this relaunch. We're only three issues into each series, and I think they're both worth a read. If you're a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan from childhood, grab Mighty Morphin. If you never really got into the Rangers, but you like good like genre, action, superhero kind of stuff, grab Power Rangers. I can assure you that one of those two will catch your attention. And the last book I want to talk about, We Live Number 4. I am so excited for this book. If you follow me on uh, social media or YouTube or anything, you've probably heard me talk about it. But if you follow Mark with uh, at Legion of Comics, we did a whole like Sunday discussion about We Live Number Four. We're absolutely enamored with this series. It's something special. It's something different. It's always unsettling. It's always really interesting, and the art and the action are extremely well done. So I'm excited for We Live Number Four. This is quickly becoming one of the most anticipated titles on my list. And so I cannot wait. I absolutely cannot wait to read number four. 
So that's about it for my pull list for this coming week. This is for January the 20th of 2021. And what I want to know from you is, uh, what books are you waiting on for this week? Are you still in for Future State? Is King and Black holding your attention? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, connect, follow, whatever platform you're on. I'm probably there. So please, just give me, your, give me a little bit of your attention. And I think you'll be excited with the content I'm putting out. Um, I've settled on a schedule. I have uh, videos and podcast episodes dropping every um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So wherever you're at, give me a like, a subscribe, follow me, and I'm sure you'll be excited with the content I'm putting out. Other than that, how is 2021 going for you and what are you excited for this year? Until next time, keep flipping pages.